You guys are all going to be on 2K TV. Hey guys, I'm Rachel and welcome to this week's episode of NBA 2K TV. On this week's episode of NBA 2K TV, we're at Terminal 23 with Carmelo Anthony for his exclusive event. We recap last weekend's rival day, vote for your top plays of the week, and Scott has some winning tips for 2K Pro-Am. Today, I'm at Terminal 23 where Carmelo Anthony has some exciting news for you. TV was invited to New York City to spend a day with Carmelo Anthony for his launch of the M12. We started the day at a Brooklyn house party where up-and-comers in the sports and entertainment industry were invited to rub shoulders with Melo, enjoy some bites from his personal chef, and of course join in on some NBA 2K16 action. Oh, right back at you. <laughs> Even Melo jumped on the sticks. Tell him I'm waxing Melo with 2K. Tell him he up. Tell him <laughs> Telling me y'all boy, man, I'm making me look nasty out here. <laughs> then it was off to Terminal 23, where young players were invited to brush up on the basics with NBA trainer Kurt Joseph. Hurry up, hurry up. And what they didn't know was that Mello was on his way. Without further ado, I would like to bring out Mr. Carmelo Anthony. I heard y'all was in the building, but I wanted to stop by, so. You have all these aspiring basketball players. What advice would you give to them to get to that next level? Don't duck no matchups. That's what I would say to y'all as, as athletes. If somebody want to play, go play. I don't care where it's at. I don't care if it's in the small gym. I don't care if it's outside. I don't care if it's a half court. If you get a chance to play ball, play ball. I'm here once again with Carmelo Anthony back for season two of NBA 2K TV. We just left the M12 party in Brooklyn. You jumped on the sticks to play a little 2K. A little bit. Last year you told me that your son is really good at 2K. You don't even play against him. No. How was he in 2K16? He's even better. Really? I don't, I don't get on the sticks against him. You did pretty well though. First quarter. <laughs> <laughs> Today was the launch of your new shoe. Your 12th shoe now, what is your favorite part of this one? The fit of the shoe is is different. You know, on, on this one, it's kind of relaxed fit. You know, you don't really have to tie it up. But even if you don't tie it up, it still feel comfortable. It's not like you're gonna walk out of your shoe. How has it changed from shoe number one to shoe number 12? The technology. From shoe number one, it was 13 years ago. Yeah. You know, just think about the technology that was being used in, in all the sneakers, I mean, it was, bulky, it was blocky, it was kind of multiple textures on the shoe to make the shoe heavy. Uh, and now, the shoe is light as a feather. And the campaign this year is built for more. It's, it's all about kind of, you know, kind of what's next. And for me, the next stage is, you know, trying to challenge myself to be better than I am right now. You know, whether it's on the court, off the court. Uh, so I thought that the, you know, the built for more kind of slogan was, was perfect for this campaign. The Zard and 2K Whisper are back in the building to bring you the My Park Championship recap. I'm just going to say, the Old Town Flyers are looking to play spoiler in this year's My Park Championship. And if you can't win it all, you might as well spoil it. On last week's rival day, the Flyers took second place from Sunset Beach, leaving the ballers with a fat, juicy donut as Rivet increases their championship lead. Backed by over 250 wins from I'm Good too. The Rough Riders now have a three-point lead over the Ballers with only four rounds left. With the championship coming to a close, each community needs every member, yeah, I'm talking to you, every member to battle in the remaining rounds. But come Wednesday, it's time for House Rules in River City, and once again, you choose the rules, baby. Double dunks, hot zone bonus, swats, and shut them down. Until next time, it's your man, Desire, and remember, Real ballers do it in the park.
right, guys. Now it's time for NBA 2K TV interactive trivia questions. I want to know who knows the first city that I participated in All Star Weekend. That was good. That was good. <laughs> and now it's time to vote on your top plays of the week. To win the game. <laughs> Thanks for sending your top plays to 2K TV Wow. Here are some of the best of the week. It sure has been fun to watch. My Park Legends have access to the Skywalker Dunk Package, and those using it have been sending us amazing plays. It is good! Time to vote for your favorite. I was born here in, in New York, in Brooklyn, actually, right where we were driving at. And I moved to Baltimore when I was eight, nine years old. So I didn't really kind of know what I wanted to do, what I wanted to be. But once I got to Baltimore, that's where kind of I honed my skills. And going back to that particular place, which is called the Dungeon. You know, we call it the Dungeon for a reason. Uh, and that's where everything started for me at when it comes to kind of preparing myself for basketball and learning how to play and learning just survival tactics. What was the dungeon like? A dungeon. It was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, it was, you know, it was small, um, lots of people, uh, all day, all night, uh, loud, and you had to really earn your stripes in there. I yeah. Mean, you, you couldn't come in there and just, somebody gonna pick you up. <laughs> uh, you gotta, you gotta earn your stripes. So no Winter matter how, stay. how, no matter what's your age. We used to play like on the, you know, the cafeteria floors. Like the tile. The tile. A lot of dead spots. A lot of dust on the floor. But back then, you didn't get nothing. Oh. From the dungeon to Terminal Twenty. Yes. <laughs> well, congratulations on another awesome shoe, and thank you again thank for you. coming on our show. Always a pleasure. Scott O'Gallagher here, and it's 2K Pro-Am Road to the Finals time. Hopefully you have your team together, and if not, remember you can use the 2K free agent hashtag on Twitter to find teammates. If you have your team locked in, you need to decide what kind of team that you want to be. Then head to your My Career to pick up the badges you need to support that playing style. Establish your identity by looking at the skills that your team brings to the table. If you have a combination of shooters and playmakers on the floor, look at how the Warriors get their shots. One of the big keys to this team's success is their ability to spread the floor with a shooting and playmaking stretch four. The badges that a stretch four would need include Dimer, Deadeye, Screen Outlet, Corner Specialist. If you pride yourself on unselfish basketball, the Spurs' systematic approach could be for you, with everybody getting touches. A skilled big down on the block contributes to this approach of playing inside out. A skilled big needs to have hook specialist, fade ace, and screen outlet. If you have a ball dominant point guard with two bigs, a Clippers style of play may suit your team. Heavy pick and rolls, looking for highlight lobs and kick out threes. The floor general in the Clippers offense needs pick and roll maestro, lob city passer, dimer, and limitless range. 
And if you have multiple all-star caliber players on your team with the most dominant player on the floor, look at how the Cavs slow down the game and play through their superstar. In the Cavs system, you can't be a superstar without shot creator, microwave, dimer, one-man fast break, and lockdown defender. A 2K Pro-Am team that's playing that Cavs style of basketball is the Druckerbockers. Please don't make me say that again. Owned by Mr. Styles, but dominated by TML614, channeling his inner David Robinson when he won the scoring title, TML threw up a 71-point game the other night. Backed by their bigs, Rip310 and Young Slim, this team gets buckets and will be a force to be reckoned with in the road to the finals. Check back next week as we'll have a special 2K Pro-Am edition of Winning Tips. Until next time. Next week, I want to see your top plays from Terminal 23. So make sure that you submit that footage on social media using the hashtag 2KTVT23. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of NBA 2K TV. Make sure you stay tuned because next week we get stylish with Mike Conley. I'll see you soon. Thank you.